I'm Mark Prensky. I'm known pretty much in the world these days as the coiner of the terms digital native and digital immigrant. I've written five books. The fifth one is about to come out, and it's called Brain Game, Technology and the Quest for Digital Wisdom. And that's what I'm going to talk a little bit about this morning. Digital wisdom means combining what the human brain and mind does best with what technology does best, because there are many things that technology can do better than the human brain, like calculate. And we have to do that in a wise way if it's going to make us better. What's making us better in general is not brain science that we're just beginning to learn about. It's not teaching us things that we didn't know. What's making us better is combining our minds with technology. We have to think hard about the things that computers do not do well. We know there are many things that they do very well. And in education, there are two things that I think computers especially don't do well. For teachers, that's having empathy. That's understanding the kids. For students, it's having passion, understanding what you want to learn about and what you love. Those things have to come from inside. Today, we see many successes in using technology in classrooms and for learning in general, but there are still a number of teachers and parents who feel fear and question whether this is a good idea. And they should feel fear because it's something new, but they have to feel the fear and do it anyway. And that is the definition of something very important, which is courage. It's very important that educators today, and parents as well, have the courage to let their children learn in new ways. One of the most important things is that we not put in the technology, though, too early before we've thought about what we wanted to do educationally. If we do our thinking after we get the technology, by the time we figure it out, the technology will be obsolete. So it's really important to spend a year or more asking in every class if we had technology, if we each had a personal device, if we had access to a supercomputer, how would that have enhanced the learning of this lesson? I started writing books 10 years ago, and I first wrote books on digital games, digital game-based learning. Don't bother me, Mom, I'm learning. I then moved on to how to teach in today's world with teaching digital natives, partnering for real learning. Now I've moved from digital natives to digital wisdom, which was the title of my next to the last book, and the book that's about to come out, which really expresses, I think, to as many people as possible what we have to do in the world to make ourselves better, is Brain Game, Technology, and the Quest for Digital Wisdom.